Hey, it's me, Tunes from the Tree, and welcome back to another Manudox tutorial. Today, we're gonna work on our first moderation command, which is the kick command. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So let's get started with our kick command by creating a class. And this class I'm gonna call this kick command. Of course this command will be in our commands package. This implements i command. The name will be kick and help will be kick a member of the server and the use will be kick, add user and reason. First off we'll start by defining a few variables. The first one being the text channel, so ctx.get channel and make this a variable. Next up we want the message, so ctx.get message and let's make a variable from this. Furthermore we want the member that created the message, so ctx.get member, and let's make a variable from that one as well. And last but not least, the argument ctx.get args.variable, and done. Now we need to do a few checks. The first one being checking if there are enough args and if there are members mentioned. So if the args.length is less than 2, so if there is not a user and not a reason, we will say missing arguments. And if they didn't mention any member, uh, the, we're also going to return and say that they're missing arguments because we need a member. When we do have enough arguments and we do have a mentioned member, we're going to say message.getMentionedMembers.com get the first one and turn it into a variable and I want to call this target next up we're gonna do some permission checks so if our member so the person that ran the command cannot interact with the target or our member does not have permission to kick members uh, we're gonna say that you don't have permission to kick the members we also need to check this for the bot and the bot is the self member so ctx.get self member. If you want to know how to get this without bot comments, it's uh, guild.self member. So let's do the same checks but for the self member. And instead of you are, we're gonna say I am missing permissions to kick the member. Next up, we need to define the reason. So final string reason equals string dot join on spaces and we're gonna say args dot sublist from the first index where the member is mentioned to args dot size then we're gonna say ctx dot get gold dot kick and here we do the target and we're gonna pass in the reason here Next up we're going to say reason, reason, and the reason that we define reason twice is because one is for the actual kick and the other one is for the audit logs. So as you can see the reason for this action or null if there's no specified reason and with the reason uh, method it says uh, applies the specified reason as audit log reason. So that's what you keep, keep so that's what you need to keep in mind. Uh, for the reason. What you also can do is in this reason field say who kicked the member. But now the last thing that we need to do is we need to... Yes, that's another reason. Very good. The last thing that we need to do is queue this off. And we're gonna say if it was successful, we're just gonna do a double underscore. We're gonna say channel dot send message. And queue this as well. I cannot type today. And we're gonna say kick was successful. 
I cannot type successful apparently. And if there were any errors from Discord or like the Discord is down or anything, we get that as the error variable. I'm gonna say channel dot send message format could not kick and we're gonna say that and error dot get message and queue this off as well. So now that we have created our kick command, we need to define it in our command manager. So new kick command. And let's go to Discord to try it out. So now that we are within Discord, we're going to start by testing out the kick command. So first off, let's try to kick someone without a reason. So kick myself and it says missing arguments. If we do kick blah blah. Now now we have two or more arguments but no men but no mentioned members. So now what we can do is kick at Connor Reason. It says you are missing permissions to kick this member because I do have administrative permissions, but I cannot interact with Connor. And if we say kick uh, my alt who is on the server, we're gonna say goodbye. You can see kick was successful. Now if you were to kick a uh, tnet for example, who is above the bot, you can say kick uh, at t3net testing, at least it shouldn't, so, yeah okay now it, it's not gonna work, as you can see I am missing permission to kick the member. And that's really easy how you can make a kick command. So if you liked this video make sure to leave a like. Leave down in the comments what you want to see next time in the tutorial. Subscribe to Manulux if you haven't already. And I see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye!